Hi, my name is Eric J.M. Schneider, and I'm a writer, uh, a poet, one might say. I have a book called One Last Ditch that I'm going to be reading from over the next few, um, however long it takes to read the whole thing um, in bits and pieces, and I'm going to be posting this on at onelastditch.com. Um, I'm going to be using YouTube. Uh, to embed the videos so you can also find it on YouTube if you um, go there. Um, One Last Ditch was published last year by Atelos, and Atelos is an imprint run by Lynn Higinian and Travis Ortiz um, based um, over in Berkeley. You can read a little bit about them. I will write down all this information on the screen um, a little later so you will know where to go and get more. So um, this is the first piece. This is called Minutes Over Time. When Chicago was far enough not to imagine or only to, which reminds me it is not that association gets you nowhere, or it is, but gaping impractically, or more than the sage, punctual like the pulse of a glock, all the way to that shelf where instant gathers into shade, the best of distance brought, not home exactly, base ten written, the shine on an electron, the talk strained at its circular run, manufactured extruded steel, they will dig here, Cynical pickaxes pulverizing veins, liver, and heart. Between torn tissue the veil rent also, Holiest holes dank and bitter, Give up the ghost steamed in modest proportions. Varnish the truth, seal it up, good, A paneled cell holding the perfect thief, Thrown in for good measure, A pewter stein with a hunting motif, Receptacle for relief. You always forget to make it brief, Rare earth, Science names you, names keep you, the keep will hold you until escape, excuses itself remanding the breach here. A bus shudders where no one could see, the course is frayed so remain composed, faithfully estranged. Were it to stop, but no, you'll arrive fashionably late, dressed to the nines. Exurb. There is no good reason why, when upon seeing houses in neat rows with lawns and sidewalks and trees and cars in the driveways and basketball nets on the walls and fuchsias at the corners of the gardens and nothing much all around except quiet isolation from the neighbors, there is no good reason why when I see all this I only feel dread as though suspended over each lawn were a wheel for breaking bodies and which were fired up each day at 3.30 in the afternoon and ran until midnight, or at least just after dinner when the calm of the stomach took over and drew us slipping into the night and dreams and the sanctuary three by six which would hold you until light broke and we would tumble out of the houses and pass the wheels that were not there and on. <laughs> 